Greetings, Earthlings. I'm back with a handheld, dynamic, omnidirectional interview microphone review for you guys. So today I'm reviewing this guy, the Electro Voice EV635A, also known as the microphone that my father used to use when he needed a microphone. If you do want to pick up this microphone, it will set you back around 140 bucks. I'll throw some links down below. And for this review, the mic's connected to the 2i2 second gen with the input gain set at around 80%. I won't do any compression or any EQ, but I will boost it in post. So check the doobly-doo to find out what that was. Now let's talk about what comes in the box. Thought that was gonna hit me that time. You're gonna get the microphone. You get a microphone clip, which does come with a 5 8 to 3 8 inch microphone stand adapter, and you get a spec sheet. As far as the build quality, this thing may be a smaller microphone, which may make you think it's gonna be built like a toy, but that couldn't be farther from the truth. This thing feels like it's extremely well built. It feels like it has an all steel unibody design. It has a metal grill, which is not flimsy at all. And it also has some really nice weight to it. And that is all there is on this microphone. This is just a bare bones run and gun mic. As far as the specs, this thing has an omnidirectional polar pattern, a frequency response of 80 Hertz to 13 kilohertz, a sensitivity of approximately negative 57 decibels and an impedance of 150 ohms. Now I'm spinning around the microphone to see what the actual polar pattern is and how the audio changes as you move around the microphone's capsule and what kind of off-axis coloration and off-axis rejection you're going to get. Now since this is an interview microphone, I'm passing the microphone back and forth between my hand to demonstrate the handling noise you're going to get out of this thing. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and slowly move the microphone away from me because this is likely what you would be doing in an interview situation. Just moving the microphone between yourself and the interviewee. Now I better not catch you guys using this for gaming, but now I'm banging on a keyboard with Cherry MX Blues to see how much of my voice for how much of the keyboard it picks up. Now I'm right on top of the microphone, although this is an omnidirectional pattern, so you won't have any proximity effect. Now I'm one foot away from the microphone, two feet away from the microphone, and about four feet away from the microphone. <laughs> Trolls, I like root beer, yes I do. I like root beer more than I like you. So I think that this mic does exactly what it was designed to do really well, which is why it's been in production for such a long time. In terms of pros, the build quality of this thing is outstanding. The 5 to 10 kilohertz boost will help your voice cut through any background noise, and the high pass on this thing will help reject any kind of low rumble in the background. But then in terms of cons, it does have a relatively low sensitivity, meaning you'll have to drive your preamps pretty hard. And also, it's not the best at background noise rejection because it is an omnidirectional microphone. So is this microphone for everyone? No. If you're a musician, I would say look somewhere else. I thought it sounded a bit too honky on the electric guitar, although on the acoustic, I did rather enjoy the tone of this thing. If you're a podcaster or a gamer, I'd also say look somewhere else. You could find a microphone that has a much fuller low end and does a better job at background noise rejection. But if you're gonna be out running and gunning, interviewing people in the field, or if you're announcing in an environment that has a lot of low frequency rumble, I think this microphone could work really well for you. I say that because it starts to roll off frequencies at around 150 hertz, which does help with handling noise, with plosives, with wind noise, and any kind of crowd rumble. And as I already mentioned, it does have that 5 to 10 kilohertz boost to help your voice cut through a mix or any kind of background noise. Well, that's going to do it. I'm sure a lot of you weren't really interested in this microphone because it's not going to fit your use case. This was more of a personal thing for me. I just thought it would be really cool to test out and review the microphone that my dad used to use back in the day. So it really was just a personal thing, and I hope you guys enjoyed it a little bit. But if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you hated it, thumbs down. If you want to influence what I review next, geeksrising.com slash podcast. You can cast a vote there. Want more videos like this? Logo beneath me. Check out the Discord server. Link in the description. And I will see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye.